Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training Videos and this is the seventh video of this playlist and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure multipathing network for storage access. Why we require multipathing? Because uh, to provide the redundant path for up our ESX host to access the data so store like if the if the any NIC is go, uh, goes down at the end of uh, like um, switch end or ESX uh, host end so we we have uh, still access to our storage or uh, sandbox so here is my environment we have a uh, active directory domain controller which is win 2 k 12 dc01 here it is I have installed active directory and DNS role on this server here you can verify the server name and domain name and my second server is vcenter server and we have just installed uh, vcenter Web uh, vCenter web client and v vSphere uh, client in our last video. So this is my vCenter server, and I have logged into my vCenter server. So good to know about this. And uh, next we have three ESX hosts: ESX 01 and uh, 01, 02, and 03 in our lab environment. Here, the all ESX host you can see. Mm, and the last one is ESX3 so I have added all the ESX host in my uh, host and cluster in, a, uh, in my uh, data center which is DC India which we have created in last video so to configure the network path or uh, multiple X uh, redundant path we have physical network adapter associated and assignment with uh, like uh, our storage network so First, I want to tell you we have eight NIC, uh, eight uh, NIC on all the ESX host. You can see we have eight network adapter on ESX one, and here is ESX two, and on ESX three as well as. So we have eight NIC on all the ESX host, and same you can verify from vCenter also. If you log into vCenter here, if you select any mm, on from a web client go to host uh, host host and cluster here you can see the NIC we have total 8 NIC on my virtual machine um, ESX host so let's go and create a like VNA of a uh, redundant access multiple path access for storage network so the first thing I want to select my ESX01 go to manage and from networking From networking, you can verify we have uh, one physical adapter associated with our switch zero, which is basically for management use right now. So I am going to add one more NIC here to provide the redundant uh, uh, path, redundant failover network for management NIC also. So select the NIC one and add. Here we have two port, two physical port associated with switch, switch zero, which is currently providing the. So we have to create. Uh, we have uh, to use a VMNet adapter two and three to create this storage box. So let's go and create it. So click on Add button. It will launch you the Add not and Networking Wizard. Here we have uh, like three option create create a VM kernel network adapter which is used for like ISKC, NFS, FC channel, fault tolerance and virtual SAN and host management. So we require to create this one only because we I want to connect with my ISKC storage box so click next and if you want to use existing switch you can or you can create a new switch as well. So I am going to create one new switch for my storage access so new switch click next and we have to assign the adapter so assign 2 and 3 as mentioned in slide so click next and VM kernel name call it iskasi01 and we don't have to oh, select anything from here just click next so now on a, so I'm providing the static IP I just as mentioned in my slide so this is created one more switch v switch 
here you can see one base which is created and associated with both the physical host. so this is one path basically to access the ISKC01 storage I'm going to add one more here so use existing sewage and switch zero and type it small chem zero two and configure the IP address one nine two one six eight one dot two zero two and the subnet mask default subnet mask for class C IP address so we have created two port here uh, if you expand it you can see the details but what I want to do here I want to assign the like uh, configure the failover and teaming so click any of the switch go to edit button and go in teaming and failover override and we have to exclude two here so I want to associate a single nick with a single target so it's done and if you refresh it you're able to see that uh, VM NIC 3 is connected with ISKC 2 and ISKC 2 is connected with both physical NICs so we have to edit this one also so teaming and failover overwrite and we have to exclude that third one so So now you can see uh, ISKC 0 and have connected to VMNIC 0 and ISKC 0 is connected with VMNIC 3. So this we uh, we have done the same uh, like first uh, for ESX 1 and we have to do the same for ESX 2 and ESX 3. So let's do it too. Select the ESX box and on the networking page first add one redundant uh, nick for management port so just go here and click add button from here and add the first nick here apply and add then virtual nick vm kernel adapter and create a new switch for ISKC assign two port second and third nick click next and type the name ISKC01 and go ahead and select 192.168.203 IP address and default submit mask finance and go ahead and create one more NIC mm. so switch one click next and type ISKC02 click next and provide the IP address 192.168.1.2.0.4.255.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
ISK C2 is connected with VMNIC3 so same need to go and then need to do on ESX3 third ESX host so click on add add one more adapter here and now it's time to add a VM kernel adapter create a new switch add active adapters 2 and 3 click next type the name ISC01 click next and put the IP address 192.168.1.205 255 255 255 0 just let it refresh so here you can see the port is created click on add one more VM network adapter so use switch one and type the name put the subnet mask click next click on finish So it's time to like map the failover and teaming. So exclude third one as we did on ESX host and ESX2. So So we are done with this, and same if you as we did uh, this on uh, from like web client. If you want to check out, you can also check the setting from vSphere client. It's refreshed now. So we have a standard switch zero one, uh, standard switch zero and one, and one is associated with uh, two ISKC hosts. For same, you can verify from all the hosts. So so we have done the like multipathing or uh, configuration for ISKC storage box so in next video I'm going to install the ISKC uh, adapter on ESX host and add the add the data store so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ID thank you once again bye bye